Hey guys, welcome to a new video and today I'm going to be reviewing the new collection by Michaela and Glamlight. I have it here. I have the PR package and see how beautiful it looks. Look at that. <laughs> super, super nice. I'm going to be doing a beautiful look. So without any further ado, let's get started. I was super happy for her and this collection. I actually was looking forward for her to create her own collection with somebody. And I was super excited to learn about Glamlight because if you know about the brand, this is a Latin owned brand. So this is huge for the Latin community. And also this is a very small indie brand. If you don't know what brand I'm talking about, Glamlight has created uh, that I have shown in this, uh, like in the halls and all that. The taco palette, the painter palette that I also bought. Uh, they have created the pizza. They have one uh, that is, I think it's birthday cake. All of these food theme type of products. And it's always beautiful. They have great formula also, which is very nice. I'm super excited for her. So congratulations to Michaela. And I love the PR package with her picture and everything here. And these are all of the products. And I love it. It's beautiful. It's super gorgeous. We have lashes. We have a breast highlighter. We have the palettes and the three lip products that comes with the collection. And I'm going to be recreating a look from her. I'm going to show you guys here the picture. It's a beautiful look. I'm going to try to use the same shades and everything. It's a beautiful cut crease. Actually, she didn't use her palette for this, but I'm going to use her palette for this look. It has a little, a little bit of blue, a little bit of purple. I love these two shades. And let's start with the eyes and let's start right away. I'm going to be doing my makeup and talking about the products while I do the makeup. <laughs> the palette is a 30 color palette. This is how it looks like. I bet you guys already saw reviews and everything because this collection is like already two or three weeks old. And these are the shades, amazing, beautiful shades. So let's start playing with the palette. Let's do a couple of swatches so you guys can see the shades. And also I get an idea of what I want to use. So let's swatch four of the, of the tones. Here is the first one, which is called Roddy. This one is a beautiful purple. It's called Immaculate. This one here is a cool tone purple called Manifest. And this one is a beautiful blue shade called Mash Hole. Super cute, beautiful. And that blue, for sure, I'm using it. I actually am gonna be using the two blues that I swatched here because the makeup I actually chose has those two blue tones. So let me apply first a primer. I want to make sure that I have my eyes very, very nice and smooth. And since this looks like it's going to be a cut crease, so I'm going to have here my pillowies with me to do the cut crease. Let me apply a primer very quick. I don't have like a video to see how she created that look. So if it doesn't look similar, please don't come after, after me. I'm going to do my best to recreate something that is along the lines. <laughs> so let's start. Let me open my brushes here that I'm going to be using. And I'm going to apply a transition color here. But I'm going to use this purple shade that's... Ooh. Oh my God. I have primer in my hair. <laughs> here. May I apply it here? It's not in my hair. It has to come in my eyes. And I'm gonna be using for transition this beautiful purple called MJ. And I'm going to apply it the same way she did, which is like in the crease area. Here. Wow, look at that pigment. Gorgeous. Very, very beautiful. And this is going to be like a round shape type of look. So we're gonna keep it very round. We're not gonna extend it. And I'm applying 
that shade basically in the crease and a little bit on top of the crease, almost hitting my brown, my brows with it. Wow, I love this purple. It's gorgeous. I'm gonna apply a little bit more and I'm gonna go a little bit more upwards because I want that purple to show whenever I open my eyes like this. Nice. I have hooded eyes. I think my Kate, Michaela doesn't have, I don't know what I'm saying, my Kate. Michaela doesn't have hooded eyes. She has like a gorgeous face to do whatever she wanna do in her eyes. Okay, perfect. So then she's using like a darker purple shade, almost blue. So I'm going to play with that blue that I swatched with you guys and a smaller brush. But I want a small dance brush brush like this one and I'm going to apply that blue in my crease area I'm not gonna stand it like I did with the purple so basically I'm gonna keep it here wow gorgeous I love this this is looking fabulous gorgeous wow I love that it's not looking patchy, nothing super smooth. It's blending like a dream. Well, Glam Light's formula is amazing. All of her palettes are beautiful. I haven't had any issues with any of their palettes. I love the ice cream one, have amazing pigmentation. The color story is beautiful. So I was super excited about this one and I'm not disappointed. It's gorgeous, gorgeous, look at this. So let me see the picture. And I feel like she did like a darker tone here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to emphasize that blue here in the outer part. And then I'm going to darken it up a little bit using the willow. Willow is like a chocolate dark brown so this one the blue tone is called mash mash hole and the tone that i used before is mj i don't know if i said so here i'm going to apply the blue first and then with, with willow i'm going to do that dark moment she created there willow i'm going to take it with a smaller brush like that uh, like the one i'm using and now i'm going to darken a little bit more this outer part of the eye taking it to the crease but very minimal just to give it a hint of like a dark moment don't worry about the outer corners nothing like that because we're going to be cleaning it up and you know finessing the situation later i just want to give more depth to the outer part. Wow, this shade is amazing too. It's almost like a black brown, gorgeous. And mixed with the blue is giving me like a very dark purple moment that I'm loving. So I'm going to stand the blue a little bit more there. Wow, I'm loving this. And now it looks like she did the cut crease. And then after she did the cut crease, she tried to like mix the both colors together in the outer part. So let's do the cut crease very quick. I'm going to be using my pillow base. And a little trick, if you have hooded eye is you put a little bit of product here, then you open your eyes very, very wide. And then that line there will tell you the end of your cut crease, how high it has to be. So that's what I'm gonna do. A little trick there. I don't do cut crease often, so bear with me. <laughs> if it doesn't look perfect, don't come after me, okay? It's like a half cut crease. So I'm gonna leave it up to here. And let's do the other one. Do the same trick. Perfect. So now that I did the cut crease, I'm gonna clean the brush. Actually, I'm gonna use another one that I like better to apply shimmers. I wanna do the roadie shade. I'm gonna do that, but 
She has like a line of glitter, so I'm gonna be using Audrey for that. So I'm gonna apply a roti up to and leave like a space basically to apply the shimmer tone. So let's do that. I'm going to take a flat brush and let me make sure that I don't have any creases and apply roti. And I'm gonna leave a space to apply the shimmer one. Wow, oh, look at that blue. Oh my God, it's gorgeous. Wow, gorgeous. I don't wanna uh, look up because I don't want to mess up the thing. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the brush that I was using with the blue and basically mix them together here it, at the end. Make sure they're blended together. Gorgeous, I love this. And with a smaller brush, I'm going to apply Audrey. And I'm gonna do that line that she did with the shimmer or the glitter. I'm gonna do it here. Wow. <sighs> this is beautiful. I think I did the line too thick. So I'm gonna go back with the roadie shade and just go over a little bit with it. Oh my God, this is gorgeous. It has a little bit of fallout in the bottom, but I'm not worried about it because I'm gonna be cleaning everything after. But everything is looking amazing right now. So I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. I'm in love with this blue roadie. It's gorgeous. Oh, let me make sure it's very well blended here in the end. Take your time because whenever you do this type of looks, you have to take your time with blending, making sure everything looks smooth. So don't do this in a rush because it's not gonna work. You're not gonna do a good job. Wow, this is gorgeous. <gasps> look at that, look. I'm in love with it. So what I'm gonna do now is finish my face because I think that when, whenever you have a look like this, you need to see all the makeup together. So I'm gonna finish my face off camera because she only created eye products and lip gloss and a highlighter. So I'm gonna be doing foundation, concealer, everything off camera and I'll be back and we finish the entire look and put lashes and play with everything else. Be right back. Okay, I'm back with the face makeup. The foundation uh, choice, like the shade, wasn't the best one, so I had to use a lot of bronzer. If you see me a little lighter than normal, that's why. <laughs> but I use a lot of blush and bronzer to, you know. <laughs> so let's continue with the eye look. And on the bottom part, she has this beautiful like, fuchsia going on. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use a combination of Pat 2 and Iconic. So I'm gonna start with Iconic. Actually, let's do Pat 2 first because that's a darker one and I wanna keep that one very close to my last la lash line. Let's do that here. And this one is like a shade that is neither a purple or pink, so it's like a combination of the two, which I think is going to be great with Iconic. But this one, I wanted to give me like depth into the bottom lash. So definition, that's what I wanted to say. Some definition there. And very, very close to your lash line. Don't extend it too much. Too much. <laughs> too much. Okay, that's it. And with a flat brush, a fluffy one, this one is the Katie Jane 12. I'm going to use Iconic. And that one, I'm going to basically blend this other shade that I just applied. Oh my God, look at that pigment. It's beautiful. This is gorgeous. And the combination of all of these colors, like, is beautiful. I love colorful makeup, makes me happy. <laughs> Purples and blues. 
this is gorgeous I wanna take more of that pad too and apply it here in the center just to emphasize a little bit more that shade oh my god this is so gorgeous beautiful let me see if she doesn't have anything on the inner corner no she doesn't have anything on the inner corner so I guess this is the look on the eyes so let's put on some lashes and for the lashes I'm going to be using she has this too and I have here brand new and cold orange I don't know which one I should use let me see the ones she has here it looks more like cold orange because they're fluffy and big let's do that one they are very dramatic but they're more like in the fluffy side I haven't used or I think I have Oh no, I have used lashes from Glamlight, yes. They are very nice, but I only use them once. I think from the Taco Collection, the Mexican collection they did, they released ones that are super fluffy and nice. And I remember they were cool, but I haven't used them again. I have to revisit them. It looks like she has like a liner that she did for the lashes. So what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna apply a very tiny line using this liner that I love that is like a glue liner so I can do the lashes with it which is super quick and easy let me do that very carefully I want to do a tiny line not too big don't want to take away from the look and let me add the lashes quickly Wow, their lashes are super dramatic. Wow, well, they're gorgeous. I think I need a little bit more glue here. Wow, look at those lashes. Let me do the other eye very quick. Oh my God, these lashes are huge. Look at this. But well, they're super comfortable. They're huge but beautiful. I love how fluffy they are. This one looks better. This one I did, I got a little bit of a poor job, but you can see them there. Oh my God, gorgeous. I love, love, love them. Let me fix the liner here. Gorgeous. Beautiful, so that's it. That's all for the eyes. Let's do the highlighter now. And the highlighter is, a, is the only shade. I don't think it has a shade name, let me see. No, it only says press highlighter. So the shade here is, it looks like a golden with a silvery reflet. Let's do a swatch here, wow. <gasps> Look at that. Okay, let me be very careful because it looks super pigmented. And let's do it with this brush here. Let me clean it up. Let's do it with this pink brush here. I'm gonna do it with this mirror. And let's see. Ooh. <gasps> Look at that guy. Oh my God. It's super beautiful. It's gorgeous. I thought it's gonna be like more blinding but it has like the right, the right amount of shimmer. So it's blinding, but at the same time, it's something that you can use during the day if you want. Because when it's too blinding, I feel like during the day, you should use something softer. I love the formula, it's nice. Uh, highlighters are always going to emphasize a little bit your texture, so I don't mind that. Not something that I haven't seen with other highlighters, but it's showing off beautifully. Even though I was afraid because it's a little too white for my skin tone, sometimes that gives me a little bit of an ashy type of finish, but this one is not giving me that. I don't like to apply it here in the tip of my nose because I have a big nose already, so I don't wanna make it bigger. So I only apply here in the bridge. And let's do a little bit on the cookie spot. Why not? Mm, I'm loving this highlighter. 
it gives me the wet finish I love in highlighters. So this is a yes for me. I love it. Now let's do the lip products. She released with the collection three lip glosses. I love that everything is lilac. That's my favorite color. So for me, this is a win already, 10 points. <laughs> oh, they don't have shades. I wish they have shade names, okay. So let's uh, swatch them here. This is the lightest one. It looks like it's gonna be like a clear gloss with silver reflex on it. Yeah, it's a clear gloss. This is the clear one. Here is the nude one. This one doesn't have any glitter or nothing. It's, all, it's completely nude. Ooh, it feels very, very nice. And let's do the other one, which is like a, it's like a clear gloss with golden reflex. Super nice. I'm going to use a lip liner and I think I want to apply the nude one. So let me get a liner. I'm gonna use this one from Alamar Cosmetics is the Dulce Liner. I'm gonna line my lips very quick. Perfect. And I'm going to apply this beautiful new shade. Ooh, wow. It's gorgeous. It's a little light for me, but with the liner, it's giving me a nice balance. So let me reapply the liner a little bit. I think I need a darker liner. So let me do that. This one from Appeal Cosmetics is darker. Okay, with the darker liner, it's looking better and I'm loving it. Let me apply a little bit of the golden reflet one on top, like in the center because I want to see how that one looks. I love it. What, one thing that I'm noticing is that it's giving me this line here. It's something that I don't like about certain formulas in uh, lip glosses, but it's beautiful, still beautiful. I think the one that gave me that issue is actually the nude one because it has that like a milky finish which generally those type of finishes are the ones that give that issue. <laughs> but I love, love, love the color. I'm in love with the eye look. It's gorgeous. Everything was beautiful. So let's move now to my conclusions and thoughts about the whole collection. Okay, guys, this is the final look. You can see it's beautiful, super pigmented. Everything looks amazing. Lips, highlighter, everything. Everything really worked amazingly. I think the winner of the whole collection definitely is the eyeshadow palette. It has a beautiful color story. Everything is super pigmented. Glam Light always does an amazing job with their eyeshadow. So I love, love, love the whole thing. I really love like how it looks and everything. The packaging is beautiful. But if you get the opportunity to grab something, if they uh, restock it again, get the palette. That's definitely the best thing of the whole collection. My second is the highlighter. The highlighter is beautiful. It has a beautiful formula. It's actually something that can work for people up to my shade. I don't think if you're darker, a little darker than me, it's going to really work because it does have like a whitish uh, finish to it. In me, it doesn't look ashy, but if you are a little darker, maybe it will look a little ashy on you. So I wouldn't suggest this in people a little darker than me, but if you are my color or lighter, this is definitely a product that you're gonna like. The third place I would say is the lashes. I really love how fluffy and big and dramatic they are. They feel super comfortable. And I really love the styles. Uh, I think she did it uh, the way she you always use lashes. Recently, she has been using lashes that are a little bit more wispy 
and look a little bit more natural. I wish that she will have included one that is a little bit more natural and then another one that is very dramatic. That would be like amazing for us to be able to have that versatility. Both lashes are very dramatic, so make sure that you like that style, but I love it. They're super fluffy and they feel very comfortable. They don't feel or look cheap. So I really, really love the uh, lashes. And lastly, the lip glosses are not a bad formula. I'm more like a sticky and dense lip gloss person. I love my lip glosses to be very like, almost like latex finish. I really love that, um, you know, super glossy type of finish. These ones look glossy. They feel very comfortable. It's a very light formula. The only thing is the nude one gave me that weird line between, you know, the lips. So, um, I'm not sure about it, uh, it's still there, you can see it. So I don't like when glosses give me that line there. The new one is the only one that did that. I think it's the responsible one. <laughs> but the other two, they're beautiful. And it's a very comfortable formula, it's very nice. So I really enjoy it. So if you wanna grab at least one of them and feel it, go ahead, it's a good formula. It's just that be careful with that in the little line <laughs> and the whole thing i would give it like nine out of ten i think it's a very well thought uh collection it's a very nice for being her first collection i think it's beautiful packaging is top notch i love the whole thing the collection is very very nice it's very very her and i really love that part congratulations michaela i really I don't know if you're gonna see this video, but if you see it, congratulations. I'm very happy and proud for you. And thank you so much for watching this video. Give me thumbs up if you love it, if you like it, and also share it with your friends. Leave me on the comments below if you grab anything from the collection and what product was your favorite. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I see you on the next one. Bye bye. Yo. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, no. Yo.